So Devin Lerritt just recently put out a video where he talked about some of his expectations for the Levon match, and everything he said does make sense from the perspective of Devin, but I think that from the perspective of the fan base and from Levon, what Devin said is definitely a bad thing, something that I personally really hope does not happen. Let's take a listen to the clip. I'm the strongest I've ever been in my life. I will test my frame. He, took, he, he broke my body last time. I am certainly willing to expose my frame. I will not lose this match without an injury. I will either beat him or I will sustain an injury. So Devin has had this kind of mentality for a long time. He never wants to leave anything on the table. He wants to literally go 100%. But the problem is, it can actually be really difficult to even know whether or not you actually went 100%. Even if it feels like you tried your hardest, how could you really know if you tried your hardest or not? How could you know if you had another few percent if you really dug deep? Well, Devin has come up with a solution to this problem, a very simple and quantifiable criteria he can use to gauge whether or not he truly went 100%. If he gets injured, that means he went 100%, and if he doesn't get injured, it means he didn't. And whether or not this is the best criteria to measure exertion in a match, the most important thing about it is it's super easy easy to measure. If your arm is broken in half, you will probably notice. So basically what Devin is saying through all of this is simply that win or lose, he wants to know that he gave 100% effort. However, I really do not prefer that this happens. Regardless of whether Devin or Levon wins, the last thing I want to see is either guy get injured. To me, one of the most exciting aspects of this match is finally getting closure as to what would or could have happened with no injuries. Would Levon have 6 0 Devin in the same way if there was no injury? It's definitely possible, but the point is that I just wanted to see it. To me, the result of the match is less important than just getting to watch the match play out in its entirety. But if someone gets injured, that means we don't really get to see that happen. If Levon does 6 0 Devin in this match, I want to see Levon defeat Devin in a situation where Devin is totally healthy every single round. To me, this will be the perfect victory for Levon, where there is no possible excuse to be made. However, if Devin just gets injured again, then there will be potential potential excuses that can be made. I'm not saying they will be made by Devin, but rather from the match itself. In other words, I think that Levon's victory will be slightly less spectacular if Devin gets injured. I think that Levon's victory will be more impressive if Devin does not get injured. So let me know what you guys think about this. I do totally understand Devin's desire to know that he did truly give his all, and if he does receive an injury, he will have certainty of this. However, if Levon is going to win this match, I want it to be as big of a victory as it possibly can be. And in my opinion, the biggest victory for Levon is a situation where Devin remains healthy for six rounds straight, and despite that fact, Levon still beats him. On April 20th, I don't want the hypothetical of what if Devin didn't get injured to even exist this time. I want to see the match play out to the fullest with every possible question answered. Right around three and a half weeks out now.